show that the equation cotangent to theta plus cotangent theta equals 2 can be expressed as a quadratic in tangent. So first of all, we have the non-MF19 formula. The definition of cotangent is 1 over tangent. So actually cotangent is 1 over tangent, cotangent is 1 over tangent. And then we have something in 2 theta, something in theta. We have to use the double angle formula. So this is the tangent double angle formula in the MF19. This is for tangent because what we have is 1 over tangent. We're going to have to flip the fraction here. So it's going to be 1 minus tangent squared over 2 tangent. And then we can just multiply both sides of the equation by 2 tangent by 2 tangent. So on the left, when we multiply, we cancel out. We have only the numerator and when we multiply, cancel out, we still have 2. On the right, we multiply, we get 4 tangent. And then just move everything to the right. So add tangent squared and subtract 3 from both sides. We get the quadratic in terms of tangent theta. Now solve the equation. So previously, we know that um, this can be expressed as tangent squared plus 4 tangent minus 3. So we just solve the quadratic basically. So um, we use the MF19 quadratic formula. The x in this case is tangent theta and the ABC are 1, 4, minus 3. And we plug in to the um, formula, use the calculator. We have minus 2 plus minus root 7. And we use um, the first positive root, tangent theta equals minus 2 plus root 7, tangent theta equals minus 2 minus root 7. Now, first of all, minus 2 plus root 7 is something positive. So, to get the base angle, we just use inverse tangent, exactly the same thing because it is something positive, and we will get the base angle in the first quadrant. And now from tangent theta equals, this guy is obviously negative. Since this is negative, if you want to find the base angle in the first quadrant, we're going to have to use minus this value, which means you're going to have to use the absolute value or the positive value. So this is actually 2 plus root 7, and we will get something in the first quadrant. Now since the domain in the question is from 0 to pi, that means we can only use the first quadrant or second quadrant. Now for this equation here, since the value of tangent is positive, we have to use the first quadrant, so just the base angle. But for this tangent theta equals something negative, we have to use the second quadrant, which is 180 minus or in this case pi minus base angle so we get this from pi minus the base angle all right we have two solutions that's it i'll see you again next time